models. You can do full body models. You can do pet models. You can do whatever, but I'm not gonna take any of those upgrades. Um, so I'm just gonna go next. And then now you can get someone to style the shoot for you if you want. You can do someone to do grocery shopping, someone to do hair and makeup, style it on a mannequin, get a producer for it. A ton of stuff that you don't really need in my personal opinion. And then now you gotta just um, figure out how you want to attend the shoot. So you can send your products to them and they'll do the shoot for you virtually. You can join it on your computer and then you just go to shoot details. So now I can just put all of the you know information about my shoot in general. So you can get one for free from them and they're actually like really, really dope shots. So let me show you how those shots, those types of shots end up coming out. So this is a like little burner website that I built that I teach from. So I'll show you like how those, uh, how those shots come out. And I got these shots for absolutely free. It's cause I just used my one little trial for them. So it was these shots with a little purple background and you can use props too with that little block. And they did some upfront, you know, close-ups for me as well. So that's the type of level of um, product shots that you're able to do with them. So hopefully that helped. Let me scroll down. I'm probably missing all types of questions. I'm so sorry, y'all. Is that some sauce? Is that some game? Let me know if you learned something just now. Okay, dope. All right, let's see what else we got. Let me start scrolling. Um, hold on, let me scroll back up because I don't want to skip any questions. Um, man, I skipped so many since I've been explaining. I'm so sorry, y'all. Let me go back up and just try to keep answering and I'll try to do some speed rounds so I can get there faster, to get to the bottom and catch up with you guys. Do you look at setups for t-shirt brands and advise what needs to be changed or adjusted? No, I don't currently do that now. We will be offering that as a service in the near future where we will check out your brand, check out your website, and we'll do an audit for you. And um, that's what we're gonna be doing a little bit later, but we're not offering that as of right now. Uh, all right. Let's see, I'm having a hard time building my Shopify store. I get it, hey, that's how it be. That is how it be. There's some secrets behind that too. If we get to 300 people in the live, I'll show y'all where y'all can get Shopify stores made for like dumb cheap and like very professional. So we gotta make sure that we share the live out. Um, what if I don't know where to start, but I wanna start making a lot of money? <laughs> you sound you sound like everybody else <laughs> in the world. Um, you know, if you don't know where to start, I'd say start with some self-awareness. At least figure out what type of, you know, business model you want to do. Do you want to do clothes? Do you want to do, like, ask yourself, what are my strengths that I have right now? And which business models lend themselves to the strengths that I already have, okay? What's ClickFunnels? ClickFunnels is a website where you can build funnels, not websites, you can build funnels. And the main purpose is to take your customer on a journey that is a buying journey. So you take them on a journey rather than just showcasing them a website. That's typically, ClickFunnels is typically more so for um, like course creators, consultants, coaches, et cetera, not more so for direct to consumer products. To build a pro to build a brand and exit, should it be faceless, not a personal brand? That's that's a good assumption. It's you can still exit it, but it's much easier to exit a brand that is faceless. But you can still be the face of the brand and still build a company. So for instance, like I'm the face of my personal brand, but we're building an academy that is faceless so that we can sell it. So you don't have to necessarily just like do everything from front facing and you can still exit in the future. Uh, what software do you recommend to create tech packs? I'll be honest, bro, I just use Canva. I just use Canva. Um, let's see. Do you use Shopify? Yes. Let's see. Let's see. How should I move? I want, how quick should I move? I want to have multiple products, bro. I, I recommend starting with three to five, bro. What do I think about funnels? Love them. Absolutely love them. Let's see. I'm scrolling. All right. I'm scrolling. I'm getting to the bottom. Um, yes, I only have one page. Everything else is a scam logo the logo website we were using earlier is called hatchwise thoughts on drop shipping drop shipping is alive and well as long as you're branding it so branded drop shipping is working right now um getting consistent sales is going to be getting consistent sales to your brand is going to be all about this pick one product on one channel and market that product on that one channel 
So everyone's telling you to do TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. No, pick one place, one channel. Let's just say it's TikTok. And you could do TikTok ads, TikTok organic, TikTok influencers. Pick one. So let's just say TikTok organic if you don't got a lot of money sitting around to invest in ads and influencers. And do that until you are at six or seven figures that then you will be able to be consistent. You're not able to get consistent sales because you're you're doing too many things and you're making you're being inconsistent. You're never doing one thing long enough to see any uh, to see any sales. Is Fiverr a good place to get ads created? Actually, not in my opinion. Two different Justins are DM me. <laughs> one of them is fake and one of them is me. <laughs> um, I would say the one that is not Justin P probably is the real one. Uh, best fulfillment centers is Shipmunk. Shipmunk is my favorite. Is this pre recorded? You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I bought your course and haven't received it yet. Oh, just um, just DM me, bro. We we don't. We want to make sure you get your stuff, man. I already answered that. I already. How would you customize the checkout option on the Shopify website? Uh, there's t tons of apps. There's tons of apps to do it. Yep, you can use Zipify. Someone just mentioned that as well. Let's see. I'm gonna scroll down so I can get some more like recent questions because I'm like. I'm literally, I'm literally um, scrolling. So keep asking your questions. Uh, share the live out. Share the live out real quick with five to ten homies because we're like we're actually giving some real tactical sauce today, and it's been actually really really good so far. So go ahead and keep asking your questions in the chat, and I'm gonna keep sharing and giving game um, as I see the questions come. So if I skipped your question, sorry, it's a ton of questions coming in, but I'm trying to get to everybody. Okay, where can I find a good graphic designer? All right. So one of my favorite methods is the STD method to do so. And you know, no, it's not that thing that you caught when you were in college acting a fool. I'm just kidding. You go to Instagram. So go to Instagram.com and then go to the search and type in .std. When you type in .std, you're gonna see a bunch of people that have a design studio. So let's just click on one, the Jin Dunn studio, whoever that is. And then you can scroll back out and you can see all of the different types of design work that they do. And you can just choose whether you like their designs or not. And if not, you just go to the next person in .std and just go find another one, okay? So that is how you find a quality designer. And typically most of those people are about $35 to $100, okay? Where should I go to get ads made if I don't know how to make them? All right, where you go to get ads made if you don't know how to make them is there, there's a few places. One of my favorite places is a place called Bands Off Ads. Bands Off, Bands Off Ads, I'll show you. So there is a place called bandsoffads.com. We create viral worthy e-commerce video ads. So all you have to do is click get started. And then as you get started, obviously you gotta create an account and whatnot. But let me see if they have like any examples of the types of ads that they make. Um, let's see, you probably have seen some of these ads that they have made too. So they make these types of ads where they like showcase the product, showcase what they do, have the like, you know, the words over them, etc. So you can get your ads made for super cheap. Um, and let's see if they even, I don't know if they have pricing on here or not, probably somewhere in here, but yeah. So that's one place you can go to get ads made for you. Super cheap. That's one of my favorites. Let's see what else we got. Um, I don't know what that means. Let's see. Can you share one of the skincare brands that you've worked with? Yeah, sure. So one of my homies, um, actually owns this brand. Maybe you know about it. Maybe not. Who, who knows? But uh, my boy David, he owns a super dope brand. Uh, one second, I'm about to open it up right now. This brand right here, brand called Pure Tropics. My boy David, I've consulted with him a little bit. My boy David owns a brand called Pure Tropics. So uh, that's a skincare brand. Uh, let's see, when using payment service, should we avoid Stripe? I don't, I don't particularly avoid or, you know, work with any particular, you know, company. We use Stripe, we use PayPal, we use ShopPay, we use Amazon Pay, we use, um, you can use a, a merchant account, which is a whole different ball game that no one really talks about. Um, but typically we, we do PayPal and Stripe. So, um, Stripe, Stripe is, you know, not the most lenient, right? 
So, you know, it is what it is. I'm looking for a vendor to design my line. Maybe I'll answer that. I haven't seen any, a lot of questions about that today. Where can I get a click funnel made that's not too expensive? Well, you know, there's a few different ways that you can do this. Typically, most people don't know this, though. <sighs> nah, I gotta wait till we get 300 for that sauce. Share the live out with 300. <laughs> Share the live out. Share the live out. Share the live out, and let's get up to 300 people on the live. We get the 300 people in the live. I'm gonna show y'all how you can how you can make a, a funnel yourself with the click of one button, and it's gonna be a great funnel. Share the live out. Let's get it to 300 people. I didn't know we got a couple course creators, coaches, and consultants in here today, so that's dope. Um, hey, do you do weekly live sessions? Thanks in advance, Just from Paris. Uh, I do lives like this damn near every day, to be honest. Uh, let's see. Can you do a funnel for physical products? Yes, you can. I typically use Shopify for my physical product brands, though. If I feel Shopify is better than Wix, yes, I do. I shared a site for logos already. Am I Greek? No, I'm not. And I actually, I'm fronting right now. I actually went to Howard University. I got this Hampton joint on because it's like an unreleased piece from Support Black Colleges. But I haven't, we haven't released it yet. So I'm just like wearing it because I needed something to throw on. So you got the patches down the arms and whatnot. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Mm. Uh, what is the name of the app that allows you to go to another store and see what vendors they using? Share the live out. Let's get it to 300. Let me write these down. If you, if y'all share the live out and get us to 300, I'm going to show y'all how to find any brands, manufacturers manufacturers and I will show y'all how to make a funnel in a minute in one minute all right so let me know uh, go ahead share the live out we get up to 300 people I'll show y'all those all right have you ever had funds frozen in PayPal etc what if you do if that happens yes I mean currently right now I probably got like who knows like 60 70 thousand held up in PayPal they be doing that bro you just have to provide more information for them all right. Um, do you have any 100% uh, fur garment manufacturers? I think I do. Let me double check real quick. Let me double check one second. Let me open up my vendor list real quick. Let me see what vendors we got. Let's see what vendors we got. Y'all share the live out so we can get really so we can get really saucy. Share the live out. Yep. All right. So. I'm opening up my vendors list now. You said, do we have any fur vendors? Let me see real quick, one sec. Uh, yep, here we go. Fur bags and shoe vendors. Fur bags and shoes. We got you covered, my brother. Let's see what else we got. Um, let's see, Wix or Strictly Shopify? I strictly use Shopify. Uh, search. Let's see what else. Do you suggest using a tech pack? Yes, I do, actually. Um, and then maybe I'll show y'all kind of like how one of mine looks. It's really simple, guys. The more, like the more, you know what? I should ask James to provide me one of his uh, tech packs because his tech packs are actually really good. Mines are really basic, to be honest. And I'll show you what my tech pack looks like. You know what? Share the live out. Get it to 300. I'll show you what the tech pack looks like. Nah, I ain't gonna be all like that. But share the live out, though. So my tech packs kind of look like this. I just showcase, you know, what the garment looks like in my head. And I do these designs myself, actually. And then um, I show them, like, what tags are going to be needed. So this is the logo and the tag. This is what the tag is going to look like. And then I show them the measurements of what it is, you know, for the inseam and the leg. And then the distance from, you know, the bottom of the garment, you know, the bottom of the, the leg to the bottom of the garment. I show them the type of fit that I want how I want it to look like you can see this example of this Adidas sweats, etc. And then for the hoodie, I may show them like, yo, I want the strings to look like this. And I want them to match the color. So like, I'm just basically giving all of the information that I want about the garment, right? What about people that don't use click funnels? Uh, I don't know what that question was in relation to. So I'm sorry about that. Let's see what else we got. I'm scrolling. You're a beast, man. Appreciate that. Um, how do I have a thousand images that need mockups? If you got a thousand images that need mockups, I think you're, I think you, <laughs> you have other issues that you need to worry about besides the mockups. You probably need to nail that down, bro. Honestly, 
Where do you get patches made at? Y'all been asking for my patch manufacturer a lot lately. All right, let's do this. If y'all get the live to 325, I'll give y'all the patch manufacturer. Let me write that down so I don't forget. Does it sound like y'all want the patch manufacturer? Patch manufacturer at 325 in the live, so I don't forget. All right, let's see. Uh, who do you cop the varsity blanks for that from, bro? These are cut and sew. These are cut and sew from my manufacturer. Let's see. Uh, what was the software that lets you view other people's stories? All right. <laughs> Y'all are asking for the sauce today, yo. Share the live out. Share the live out with the homies. And make sure that we get above 300 so I can give y'all start giving y'all some sauce. We get to 325, I'm going to give y'all the patch manufacturer. We get to 300, I'm going to show y'all how to make a funnel and how to find any brand's manufacturer. But as of right now, someone asked, what did they ask? Uh, the software to view everybody's story. So if you want to view everyone's story, you can go on a, who's texting me? You can go on a website that is called storyviews.com storyviews.com and when you go on that website what it's going to allow you to do is mass looking on everyone's story so basically you know how like back in the day back in the day i don't know if y'all knew this but like back in the day you were able to automate your instagram and when you automated your instagram you were able to automatically like and comment on people's photos and then that would make everybody like you know want to come to your page so they actually banned that but one thing they didn't ban yet hopefully they don't <laughs> is looking at people's story so you know how now you can like like people's story and whatnot and when you like people's story that's showing them in their notifications like yo who is this person that liked my story and then what you can do is be like okay you can get followers from people seeing you like their story, but you can automate that so you don't actually have to do it. So that's a website that you can use to automate that as well. All right. Looks like we got y'all saying we got 300 in the building. OK, cool. All right. I right, bet, bet, bet. All right. Let's see. I'm scrolling down. I see y'all saying we got 300. OK, cool, cool, cool. No cap. It ain't no cap. It ain't no cap. We're going to give it away. We're going to give the sauce away. All right. So I said I'm going to show y'all how to find any brands manufacturer all right so this is what you're gonna do i actually made a post about this before but it's kind of like way back down share the live out share the live out with like three to five people real quick because this is about to get real saucy all right okay cool so now what i can do is i can go to a website that's called importyeti.com so i'm on a website right now called importyeti.com all right and when I'm on this website, what I can do is, let's just say, you know, Kanye said, man, screw Adidas. I want to figure out who they suppliers are. He can type in Adidas on Import uh, Yeti. And then when he's on Import Yeti, he can look at Adidas International Trade. And then he can see that they're doing 100 plus thousand shipments, right? So I can go on Adidas's International Trade. And then now I can scroll down. Well, first of all, I can just click Download. And then I can download Adidas's complete suppliers list, or I can just scroll down and look at them one by one. So if you look at Damco India and you come all the way over here, you can see that Damco makes sports shoes. So if you want to know Adidas's manufacturer who makes sports shoes, you can just click on Damco right here. And they got a ton of other manufacturers, right? Like they got hundreds of them. Now you can go to Damco, click on that joint. And then you can look at their AliExpress link, their Alibaba link, et cetera, and you can reach out to them yourself. So are we giving up the sauce or like what? Am I cap or am I like really giving y'all the real deal sauce? Let me know. Is this, is this bars? Is this game? Is this sauce? Or am I fluffing y'all out right now? Let me know. Let me know if I'm cap or not. Is this real deal or is this, or is this not? All right, what was that other thing I said I was going to do? I said I was going to show you how to make a funnel in one minute yeah show you how to make a funnel in one minute all right so this is crazy all right so look this is what you're gonna do so let's just say you know you seen somebody's funnel it was dope and you was like yo i want that funnel for my business so let me first let me go ahead and log in to click funnels real quick and then i'm gonna go act as if i'm about to make a funnel right so let me go and click funnels and then i'm just gonna act as if i'm about to make a funnel Give me one second to log in. All right, I'm logged into my burner account on ClickFunnels. I'm logging in right now. Give me a second, it's like loading or whatever. One sec, 
All right, cool. So I'm in my burner account right now. And then what you can do is go to click funnels at the top and go to funnels. So let's see. All right, so now I can go to build a new funnel, right? All right, I click build a new funnel. This shit is game. <laughs> All right, so now let's just say, you know, whatever. I'm just gonna choose any funnel, it doesn't matter. And I'm gonna type it like live test funnel, live test funnel, right? And then I'm gonna go build funnel, okay? So now I'm on live test funnel, build funnel, and it's going ahead and make this like little BS funnel for me. So now I'm just gonna select any template that I got, right? So I'm gonna just select this bullshit as like first template. It's making some random, making some random funnel for me right now. And now I'm gonna go to edit, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is this. This is where the sauce goes. So let's do this. You see what this is right now? This is just like, it has nothing on it. I'm scrolling up and down and there's nothing on this funnel, right? There's nothing there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to a funnel that I like. So I like this funnel by uh, Russell Brunson who invented ClickFunnels and it's called perfectwebinarsecrets.com, all right? So as you can see, check out this funnel. Uh, it's very dope. Like it got a whole lot going on. Like it's, it's a dope funnel, right? This joint is dope. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download a Chrome, a Google Chrome extension. And the Chrome extension is called Funnel Cloner. It looks like this, Funnel Cloner, all right? So now I'm gonna click Funnel Cloner and then I'm gonna click Copy Funnel. So I got the funnel copied now, right? So now I'm gonna come over to my BS little funnel that I had, and then I'm gonna go back to Funnel Cloner, and then I'm gonna click Paste Funnel, and watch what happens. Now, I got the funnel in my ClickFunnels account, and check out what I could do. I could change everything about the funnel now. So now I got the structure of a funnel that got a hundred million, that made a hundred million dollars, and I can just go change all of the pictures that are inside of it and all of the words that are inside of it. So now I got a crazy dope funnel. So y'all let me know, am I giving the saw? Like, am I, like, what, what are we doing in here? Are we, are we really, are we really giving the game up? Wait, what, what's going on? What's going on here? Are we doing something like, y'all let me know. All right, so I see that we got over 325 in the building. So I am going to give the patch manufacturer real quick. I wanna make sure that y'all get that patch manufacturer real quick, so give me one second. And I think I'm gonna do something crazy. Let's share the live out. Let's get it to 400 people. We get 400 people in the live today. I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna do something crazy. And I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just start giving away manufacturers. So y'all share this out, let's get it to 400 people. We get 400 people in the live. I'm gonna just open up my vendors list and I'm gonna just start picking them off as y'all say what I need. And I'm gonna just be like, yo, this is a vendor for that. This is a vendor for that. This is a vendor for that. If we get the live up to 400 people, okay? So for now, I'm gonna give you guys the patch manufacturer real quick, because I promised you guys that I would do that at 325. And you guys got to 325 in the building. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. So let me actually go to my, uh, my Support Black College email. And then I'm going to go and look up the patch manufacturer. They've been emailing me like, Justin, you, we really like you. <laughs> They're like, Justin, you, we want to make you some stuff for free because you, you've been helping us out a lot. Like, we really appreciate it. <laughs> so I bet I'm going to show you all the patch manufacturer. All right. So I right, here you go. So as you can see, this is no cap. This is inside of my email address. So as you can see. This is inside of my Justin at Support Black Colleges, all right? And if you go inside of it, this is the Hat Patches email. And as you can see, Davina Badges at VIP.163.com. That's the manufacturer. Davina Badges at VIP.163.com. I'm gonna leave that there. Three, two, one. There you go. All right. So if you got that, you got it. If you didn't, Pay attention. All right, good, good, good. 
So, okay, let me know what other questions you guys got. We've been going over a lot today. We talked about so much game, so much stuff today. It feels like it's like late night, midnight Jay coming back out and giving that, that crazy game. We just a little bit early today. So share the live out with five to ten people. Let's get it up to 400 people. We get it up to 400 people. I'm going to just start picking off manufacturers on my list, and I'll show you guys how, or I'll just give you guys manufacturers that you feel like you need. But for now, just go ahead and uh, comment any questions that you guys that and feel free to comment whatever questions you need and I will uh, answer those questions for you yes just email them and they will they will allow you to make patches so the patches that we use are called Chanel patches and the patches that we use have adhesive backing so they're Chanel patches with adhesive backing okay all right dope and and real quick um, I think what I want to do is I want you guys to Keep asking your questions. Um, yeah. Hey, if we get the live up to 400 people, I'll show y'all. I'll show y'all the same way we, I kind of just showed y'all with the um, with click funnels, how you can copy and paste a funnel. I'm going to show you how you can copy and paste a Shopify website as well. So share the live out. Share the live out. Let's get it up to 400. And I'll show y'all how y'all can copy and paste a um, Shopify store as well, just like we did a click funnels too. So... How much capital did I start with? I started out with, um, I saved up my money for my job and I saved up uh, $10,000 and I started my business with 10,000. Cool, all right, cool. So real quick, and for those of you that are getting some sauce, getting some game, um, this is what I wanted to do. What I wanna do is I wanna like let you guys know that I appreciate you guys being here, first off, like really do appreciate it. We're gonna continue to give game and continue to give sauce. I'm probably gonna stay on for maybe like, you know, maybe 10, 20, maybe 20, 30 more minutes. Sometimes I like to bring people on the live and kind of talk through it as well. But um, for those of you that are like, yo, Justin, you're giving up crazy sauce, you're giving up crazy game, and you're like, yo, I wanna work with you and your team a little bit more directly, like, cause I see a few people that are like, yo, you know, I get DMs all day long. Like, yo, how can I work directly with you? Or how can I work more closely with you? So before we weren't really taking on anybody because we were just kind of like growing our business and whatnot. But as of right now, we actually just launched a coaching program where we're actually taking on like 10 to 20 brand owners. So if you got a brand, you got an online business, you got a product that you're looking to scale up, then go ahead and DM me the word action. DM me the word action and then I'll have myself or someone from my team get back to you. But I will say this is like, we're only looking for like 10 to 20 people. And our goal is to do this. Like our goal is if you're not doing anything in sales right now, take you to like five to 10 K a month within the next 90 days. Or if you're already doing business and you got some motion, our thing is to like double your business, like double the revenue that you're getting. So if you're looking to get started in the industry, if you're looking to scale up from zero, or if you're looking to take what you're already doing and scale it to the next level, DM me the word action. So let me put that in the chat real quick. So DM me the word action. DM me the word action. If you want to work with me and my team, to coach you, to coach you. There we go. So that means you gotta leave the live and DM me. So leave the live, DM me, and we're only looking for a few people. So, um, you know, it's gonna be fun. So don't, don't comment it, DM me. Don't comment, DM me. Leave the live, DM me, then come back, all right? So yeah, it, it's gonna be dope. I'm gonna have a ton of fun with it. And actually like, I don't like to get into like the pieces and like the bits and pieces of everything that we're offering because I'm more about like the payoff, like what is the result gonna be? And we are like, so imagine like if my team built your website, if my team had showed you how to run ads, if, my t if I was there coaching you weekly, like can you imagine what that would look like for you? Cause I'm giving this type of free game, can you imagine? Like anyways, all right, so let's keep asking questions. Uh, go ahead and keep asking questions in the chat. Um, and yeah, uh, I see some people saying, yeah, the course was worth it to me. The Shopify themes alone were great. Your course is amazing. There's no cap in there. Dope, dope, dope. All right, so keep asking questions um, and I'll keep answering them, all right? I'm at about four mil a year. If I can double that, I'm sending action all day. Brother, if you're at four mil a year right now, I can guarantee you, bro, 
I am at a level where I can just like look at someone's business and be like, all right, what are you doing? What's the revenue? All right, let's see what you have in place. And I can just pinpoint and be like, all right, you need to do this, 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 and that. Here's the team to put it in place for you. And we can easily like double people's revenue in that way. Anyways. All right. Let's see what other questions you guys had. Um, do you need a uh, Lord? I can't read that one. Sorry. All righty. Uh, how long do you wait in between drops? Typically for us, we will do what we have, what we call forever products. So we have products that are there forever. Like they are, um, you know, our regular stuff, our regular hoodie, our regular t-shirt, our regular joggers, etc. And then we drop other stuff on specific dates. So, you know, you have dates that you can monetize like July 4th or Juneteenth, I should say, July 4th, Juneteenth. Um, all of these different holidays that you can drop collections around or you can drop collections. I like to do at least like every two months. But once you get your systems down, you can do once a month, once a week. Even I've seen work really well as well. Are you in Atlanta? Yes, I am. I live in Atlanta. Um, how much I got to pay you to get started? So for anyone that is like, yo, Justin, you are the real deal. You give the sauce. Your free information is better than people's paid information. Leave the live and DM me the word action if you want to get started with me and my team coaching you on a weekly basis. Um, but like I said, bro, I'm not, not going to lie to you. I'm not a cheap date. You know, this ain't going to be like a, a Applebee's type of situation. We are, you know, it. I'm not a cheat date, bro. But what I can say is that we do pr produce results for people. And that's documented. And as you can see, you know, and anybody that has bought something from me, got some free game, applied the information and made money, anything of the nature, comment below. Like, is the game that I have sauce? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it terrible? Let me know in the chat so that anybody that is new to hearing from me and my information, they can be known like what's the real. And I want to I want them to be completely honest. All right, let's see what else we got. Do you recommend custom packaging for clothing? Uh, what do you use? I don't necessarily. Well, we so we I don't recommend it for anyone that's just getting started because it's an extra expense. But what I can say is, yes, you can use it. And I actually use a company that's called Arca, A-R-C-A, -A, a company called Arca, Arca Packaging. And um, their website is, what's their website? Oh, excuse me. It's A-R-K-A. -A. My bad, y'all. A-R-K-A. -A. And I'll kind of show you what it looks like. So, you know, you can do a ton of stuff, right? You can do like these custom boxes, these custom joints, your custom poly mailers, you know, pretty much all types of stuff, right? So you can use Arca to do your custom stuff, but I don't recommend that for someone that's going out. <laughs> you remember the Apple B? I'm trying to tell you, bro. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we got. Can we get the social media posting schedule? Oh, that's some sauce. That's over there in the corner. I put that up in the cut because like, oof, uh, it's work that I joined last week. Dope, 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 dope. After experiencing the course, there's no way I was gonna let uh, going to let the action move past me by. Dope, that's dope. You give game for real, for real. Justin, I've been using SMS Bump and Clavio. What exactly is the purpose of ClickFunnels? And do it intertwine with those two apps. If you're a consumer brand, like a direct to consumer brand, like you don't even need to worry about ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels is more so for coaches, course creators, consultants, etc. So I wouldn't even worry about it. But I love using SMS Bump, Clavio, etc. Okay. Took your course, dope. Nice, nice, nice. Um, I was on your webinar a few weeks ago. Uh, I still got to do it on Zoom. Nice. Your course is so awesome. So far, so good. I'm ready to work with your team. Just DM me action if you want to work with the team. DM me the word action. Uh, the course doubled my month one goal. <laughs> Love that. I have my website halfway done. Just have to add a few more things from the course. Dope. I love that. Um, let's see. How many products do we need in order for the coaching to be effective? Now, if you're just getting out, if you're just getting started or if you like have a product already, then we could definitely help. So like we have put systems in place to where we can like show you what products are the most lucrative, show you which ones are, um, you know, which niches are the most lucrative and we can help you identify products in that niche. So, you know, 
Uh, let's see. Your webinar is like a course, <laughs> but your last e-com course is everything. Thanks so much. When's the next course? I don't know. I might need to drop some sauce off. It's been a minute. I'll be updating the course from time to time. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I'm overwhelmed with the info. I love that. <laughs> let's see. Uh, I purchased the course around October, maybe right around your birthday. It's too good. Scary good. <laughs> That's good. Course is fire. Death worth the investment. I love that. Thank you guys so much. My brother Honcho in the building. What up, Honcho? Good to see you. Um, all right. Let's see what else we got. Damn, it's hella questions. Um, what should we use to record and sell a course? I use Thinkific to uh, put our put my courses like where I host my courses and then to sell them. There's plenty of different ways, but I like ClickFunnels the best. Let's see. Let's see. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. Make sure. All right. How can I see your webinar, your masterclass? All right. So for anybody that is like, all right. So for those of y'all that are like, yo, I want to work with you and your team. I want you to coach me like on the weekly basis. Our, my goal is to like either start my business and get to five to 10K in the next 90 days or I have a business already doing 5, 10, 15, 50, 100, and I wanna double it. I'm doing anything a month under $1 million a month. That's where I've been able to take my business to. And that's like, if that's your goal, then if you're under a million a month, we can double your revenue. That's our goal. Like, that's our goal is to double your revenue. If you're just getting started, and you want to get to five to 10K a month in the next 90 days, then that's what we're talking about when you DM me, DM me the word action. So leave the live and DM me the word action. And then we'll have someone from, get back to you or my team will get back to you. Um, but if you're like, yo, Justin, I just want to, I'm, I'm a little bit, that's if you're serious. Like if you're serious and not curious and you're like, Justin, this is the time, like I need to make this work and I want to work with you because your free information is better than people's paid information. Then you know that like, I'm not cheap. I'm not like a cheap date and you like, cool, that's fine. DM me the word action. But if you're like, yo, you know, I'm a little bit, I'm curious. I'm just trying to see what this e-commerce thing is all about. Like, you know, I'm trying to figure this thing out. Then what you can do is just comment right now. Comment the word e-com, E-C-O-M. And that's going to send you an invite to my free training that I got uh, coming up on Thursday. So if you're like, yo, I'm just curious, trying to figure this e-com stuff out. I don't know everything. Like I'm trying to figure out how this thing works. Then you could just comment ecom e c o m, and that'll send you an invite to our free training that's on Thursday. But for those of you that are serious, not curious, and you want to work with us directly, DM me action. All right. So let's see what other. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, I am scrolling. There's no there's no such thing as a tech pack manufacturer. I don't know why y'all keep saying that. Like. <laughs> you just make tech packs. I use I will use Canva to make mine to be honest. Do you think the boost button is helpful for getting followers? Yes, it's helpful for getting followers. It's not necessarily helpful for um it's not necessarily helpful for running ads though. Like running ads for conversions. Last e-com course you'll ever need in Google or subscribe to his email list. You'll definitely have access there. Um let's see what else we got. I'm scrolling. Bro, this game is everything. Most guys shy away from helping. You're a real one. Appreciate that. Thing. Appreciate that, bro. That training is lit. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out ads. Yeah, ads is a whole different beast. Let's see. I got a notification that you were on live and I didn't see. I missed it. Sheesh. Got to be quicker than that. <laughs> got to be quicker than that. How do, much do I need in inventory to get started? I don't even recommend using inventory when you're first getting started so let's just start there what do you use to make a tech pack i use canva thoughts on the fitness industry one of the biggest industries so much so much money to be made in the fitness industry i don't use velcro patches um let's see uh, i'm scrolling let's see i was trying to scroll the ad sauce. I gave the ad sauce the other day. I literally gave out the ad sauce the other day. It's still over there. It's still over here. Oh, let me show y'all. I'm not going to break it down today because I'm a little, I'm like parched. I've been talking too goddamn much. I broke down the ad sauce. 
for y'all that weren't here, who was here when I broke down the ad sauce? Who was here when I broke down the ad sauce? Let me know if you if you remember that. Let me know if it was some game in there when we was take, talking about the ad sauce or not. Let me know if it was some game. Let's see. If you don't recommend having inventory, what do you recommend? You can drop ship. You can do pre-order method. You can do made to order. There's a ton of stuff you can do. Um, let's see what else we got. How do you buy from a manufacturer but not in bulk? You can buy from a manufacturer and not in bulk, but you have to use a, um, or excuse me, you you would just be buying samples at that point. That ad sauce was dope. All right, dope. All right, let me get a few people in here real quick. Answer, let me answer a few, like a question. Too. All right. Let me answer. Let me get someone in here. So people accept that. Hopefully we can get some get some game out. Yo, yo. <laughs> Uh -oh. uh, let me let me remove. <laughs> they removed themselves. They got a lot going on over there. Let me accept somebody else. I'm gonna keep answering questions. Y'all drop your questions. Nah, Hampton definitely isn't the real HU. It's definitely Howard University. I'm perpetrating right now. I designed this though, so you know I'm just wearing some of the custom stuff we got. But I'm just adding like one or two people in here real quick. Um, and then I'm gonna come back to answering some more questions. Let's see. I like Printful over Printify, to be honest. Yeah, you can you can copy a Shopify website, but a Shopify website is not a funnel. Let's see. Let me see what else. Let me see if there's someone else in here that I want to join. Hold up. All right, let's see. People are, people are trying to join, but they're not accepting. I'm gonna probably answer like three or four questions real quick. Do you have American vendors? Yeah, I do. I'll show you how to find American vendors later. What's going on, boss? Hey, how's it going? I'm eating man. right now. Damn. Hey, man, you gotta you gotta stay uh, you gotta stay uh, neutral uh, like got good nutrients in your body, man. Yes, sir. By the way, like, dude, I've been wanting to like get you on live, so that's amazing that I get you on live. Man, how can I help out, brother? What's your question? So I have like I have like a lot of questions, but I'm gonna keep it short. Okay. All right. I'm eating. I'm eating right now, so like my whole brand is keep eating mm -hmm. like i'm i run this clothing brand i made it all myself like i have my shopify store set up like i have the website the domain thing um i what i'm doing is print on demand okay because i don't want to get entry like you were just saying like i don't want to like not be, be able to sell it so i can just like tell a couple of my friends dm people right their address boom send it to you and it can go through me so it's pretty easy i don't I make a lot, a lot of profit depending on the price on it but i'm mostly trying to get it out there that's how it'd be that's how it'd be with the print on demand i i get it i understand the business model a thousand percent what do you think is the like biggest thing that i could help you out with to like make sure that you're successful well my biggest question so how do i move from like like i'm i'm just selling to my friends and i want to sell to like the whole United right. States, like the whole, right? So, how, so how, let me ask you how, this: How how often are you how often are you posting content, like either on TikTok, Instagram, or like where are you posting content right now to get people to know your brand? So I've I have like uh, basically on all my social media, mostly TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat is where I post the most content. I wouldn't say like I spam content. I would say like every twice a week once a week someone will hear about my brand right. sometimes on post on the brand account posts on my other accounts about it you know what i mean yeah i think the the i think the issue here is you know when you're starting a business you really have two resources that you can use you can either use time or you can use money because you know you're just getting started so if you're somebody that has more time than money, then you got to utilize that time as your resource because that's all that you have. So I would suggest to you, well, one, I would say this, like even, and this is for anybody too, not just you in general. Most people don't let, like no one knows about their brand because they're like the best kept secret because they aren't talking about their brand enough. And the reason I ask you is like, how often are you posting on social media? Because for anyone that tells me, hey, I don't got a budget, I'm like, bro, I completely get it. I didn't have one when I first started either. So what do I need to do? I need to first identify what 
places are like first of this i say like what skill sets do i have once i identify my skill sets then i say all right which social media channel aligns most with the skill set that i have and then i choose that one and then i don't do any of the others this is where people are messing up right now especially when i first getting started they're worried about TikTok, instagram stuff like snapchat facebook all of this stuff when in reality to be extremely successful you have to focus on one thing at a time so i would suggest to you is wherever you have the most traction at whether it's TikTok, instagram or snapchat go to that platform and then start making three times the amount of content simply by not making content for the others and focus in on that one uh, that one place because what people do is they like try to do all of these things at once especially when they're small business and they're mediocre at all of them and they never are able to be successful because they don't focus all of their attention on one thing and business in general is about taking your focus and your team's focus and mobilizing it at one issue at a time so like if it, so if I, if I were you i would be like all right bro let me see like where am i getting the most traction all right it's TikTok. perfect now i pick my channel now i need to pick my product which you already have and i'm going to focus all of my time and attention on making content for that one channel and instead of doing once or twice per week because you're spreading it thin do three times a day on that one channel and then go narrow and deep on that one that's that's what i would do if i were you bro i guarantee you bro you do that you're gonna start seeing more sales because by by naturally just by focusing your attention on one thing you'll start to see more sales bro okay. i see it happen every single day bro all right thank Ain't you want to hear it he didn't want to hear it y'all he didn't want to hear it yeah. and one last question uh sure. i placed the um the 27 dollar pack i just wanted sure. What what was what is that? Uh, like if you oh, yeah, that. yeah, sure. So what he's talking about, y'all, is the um, the twenty seven dollar prep kit. So basically, I do free classes on Thursdays, and then for those that want to just come to the free class, by all means you can. But for those that want to be prepared for the free class, they grab that twenty seven dollar bundle you're talking about. So inside of it is three ebooks. One is my uh, last e commerce ebook you'll ever need. So I wrote that when we were doing like six hundred thousand dollars a month. And I just wrote down like everything that we did to get from zero to 600,000. Number two is the t-shirt game. That's specifically for like t-shirt brand owners that want to understand which t-shirts to get, what he pressed to get, all of those things. And then third, what ebooks that? Oh, influencer marketing mastery. So it's just basically like how to get all of the biggest influencers in the nation to wear your stuff for free. Cause we've been fortunate to not have to pay for any influencers, maybe like five or 10. Um, then there's a ton of other stuff in there. 47 video mini course for Shopify. Um, and then I also send out daily emails on like which TikToks are working. So like every day, every single day, I send out an email. It's like, yo, this is the trend that's happening. This is the sound to use. And this is how you can use it in your business. And that's everything that's in the $27 joint you're talking about. Okay. And I should get that in my email. And, uh, yeah. Every yeah. So if you didn't get in your email, just shoot me a DM and I'll, I'll have customer service take care of you. It should come immediately, though. Oh, okay, okay. All right, no problem. Thank you. All right, brother. It was a pleasure meeting you. All right. Pleasure meeting you. All right. All right. Man, I hate, I, hate this. I hate to say it. It's always so tough because I know people don't want to hear that where it's just like, yo, just do that one. Just do that one thing and focus all in on that one thing. Let's see what else we got. Let me get a, like one or two more people in here real quick. It helps some folks out. All right, let's see, let's see. Let's do, let's damn this hella people I'm trying to request. All right, let's do this. Uh, here, here we go. All right, bet. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. Just do one thing, one product, one channel. Yo. Yo, what's going on? What's going on, family? How are you? Thank you much. Appreciate all the game. I'm a Hampton alum, so oh, I love man. the jacket. Look. You know, see, we got a little bit of beef now. You know, you know. Uh, there ain't it no is. beef. It's, it's HBCU, so it's love. We ain't gonna right, so, do right, so internal thing. We we gonna we gonna do that then. We gonna make Absolutely. sure that we show love today. See, you but see, I'm representing your alma mater right now. Respect. It pains me to do so, but it is much, what it is. Respect. Much respect to uh, Howard as well. There we go. Um, How can I help, brother? Yeah. So I have a, a luxury candle company. We started about a year ago. Um, I already hit you in the DM. I'm okay. ready to take it to the next step. Okay. I know a lot of it is based on getting better at social and, and posting more and a lot of things. Yeah. But, um, man, 
in all the game that you already dropped has been very beneficial. You know, I'm writing down all these different websites, uh, took some of those courses and, Dope. you know, been applying some of those to the website. Dope. Um, so really, I, you know, I'm not sure if you worked with any candle companies or something similar, yeah. but if you have, what have you seen immediately that, you know, that's a, a missed opportunity or something I can apply immediately yeah. before we start getting started and doing our little one-on-one? Yeah, no. So I actually was um, working with a candle company, actually like one or two, actually I've worked for so many different businesses over the last 10 years. Yeah. Um, so what I noticed with the candle companies is typically they have like really good products, but they don't necessarily know how to communicate the candles value yeah. through their content and through their product photography and through their descriptions they yep. usually kind of just like showcasing you know a little random picture and it's not very high quality so what i typically suggest is number one get some super dope like high quality uh product shots kind of like i showed earlier mm -hmm. we use uh, suna.com i don't know if you were there for that yeah i was yep works wonders bro especially for candle companies and just creative companies in general uh number two the um I think that candle companies and other companies as well, they don't educate their consumer that well. So for instance, I was working with a young lady who has like a uh, manifestation candles and candles that have crystals inside of them and et cetera. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, I'm green to the marketplace. I don't know nothing about rose quartz, amethyst. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, why i told her i was like yo you should make a page on the site that's like educating the marketplace about all of the different crystals and whatnot that you have inside of your candles and then showcase under that crystal that these are all of the products that we have that offer this type of crystal inside of it so i think that candle company maybe like yours i don't know what types of candles you have but you can you can tell them like what types what do these smells do what does eucalyptus do for the body what does all of these different things do and then direct them to the candle that coincides with the information that they have for that specific smell that specific scent etc um and then like i said product descriptions as well most people are kind of just showing like you know this is what is in the product i, do, I talk about it for clothing brand on the show like 50 cent 50 percent cotton 50 percent polyester and i'm like no one gives a damn right because if I walk up to you and I'm like, yo, buy this hoodie, it's 50% cotton, 50% polyester. You're like, bro, I just met you, get out of my face. Mm -hmm. But then if I say, well, it's 50% cotton, 50% polyester. So that means that you can, you know, dress it up. You can dress it down. You can wear it to the airport. It'll be comfortable. It's exclusive, et cetera. You might be like, okay. But then if I say, all right, well, it's 50% cotton, 50% polyester. It provides all of those benefits that I just showcased to you. And the reason that you should care is because the business is called Support Black Colleges. And we actually have an all black supply chain from start to finish. And we put people through school with grants, et cetera, et cetera. Now I've communicated not only the features of the product, the benefits of the product, and then also why you should care about the benefits that I just showcased to you. And I don't typically see a lot of companies doing that in general. And I think that you may be able to benefit from that a lot. Exactly communicating your story why you created it what do you benefit yeah and yeah, then, even in the product descriptions i do that as well so at the end of the product description i will always put like support black colleges a brand that started in 2012 with the sole you know purpose of doing x y and z i'll map the whole thing out in every single product description because there's different types of buyers you have buyers that will buy solely based off of logic like this has eucalyptus in it it's going to help with my sleep then you have, like, I'm just making shit up. Then you have buyers that are like, um, you know, emotional, where it's like, damn, every candle that they, you know, that they sell, they do X, Y, and Z for the community, or the founder does this and that with the profits. So like, I might not care about what it does logically, but it might do something that I actually care about on the back end as well, and I can buy for that reason. Then you have your urgency buyers. So people that will buy because it's five left in stock or two left in stock. And you can communicate that on your product pages as well. And I rarely see any companies doing that. So typically what you do is you'll structure it in a way that goes emotional, your, your landing pages or your product pages, emotional, then, um, then logical, then urgency. Because most people will buy something based off of the emotion then they'll justify why they did it based off logic. And then if you haven't gotten them with the emotion and the logic, then you induce urgency. Like, yo, there's only three left, make a move. So the, those are a few few gems. I hopefully that um that helps out. Oh right, yeah, I'm writing them all down. And real quick, maybe this will help somebody else when I ask this question. Yeah. Like when you're doing that, is that something that you recommend pushing that story through social media? 
or is that like a video on your page or is that in a copy or is it just really just all above like what's the best way to continue it's really it's really communicating that all of the above but the reason i was sharing that with you is because i was just thinking about different things you can do on your website specifically to get more sales okay gotcha yeah okay appreciate that all right brother it was a pleasure i hope that helped out absolutely thank all you right, all right we got some good stuff going on today this is dope this is dope all right let's see let me see if we can get somebody in the building all right let's see what we got let's see what we got um hello people are trying to get in one second all right let's get yeah one channel i'm trying to tell you one channel one product one channel this is fire dope 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 i'm glad y'all i'm glad y'all are liking this i'm inviting people right now i'm inviting folks that that are that are trying to grab get in so give me one second i'm just inviting folks that are trying to request it's hella though i gotta scroll my lord all right let's see this is amazing right, hey, what, up? what up family how are you how you doing doing great uh oh i think i got two hey brother i see you on the treadmill just uh wait a second real quick let me get him out the way and then we'll come to you next i got you i bet what's going on work out you better than me man <laughs> what's going on there, bro how can i help hey man first off thank you man <clears throat> man you, uh first time dropping good gems for any new uh person with a brand and, and existing ones people as well um so not to be long-winded <clears throat> man i've been having my idea for clothing for years man and i just uh left my place of employment okay. uh making good money man so i knew it was time for me to do it yeah. and not put it off right and so um i, I have all my logos you know, um, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm just starting. Okay. And so, <clears throat> you know, I've been torn it back from, do I get a heat press? <laughs> you know what I mean? Do I do it? Yeah, and, I know. You know what I mean? Like, it's I already know stages. where you're going. Yeah. Yeah. It's, right, and look, so, yeah, go ahead. I know exactly. I'm sorry. I promise you I didn't mean to cut you off. I, I've just, like, I've been helping people for so long that right when they say one word, I know exactly what they need now. So like, if you don't mind, I'd love to help out. No, no, no. Hey, hey that's why I'm here. That's <laughs> so, why I'm here. So this is the thing. Um, you know, when you're first starting out, there's a few, there's a few pitfalls. I need to write a book or something about this. There's a few pitfalls on it. And the reason is, is because most people do what they think is right and not necessarily what is actually right for them. So for me in general, what I did was, I got into the clothing business and I thought, hey, you get into the clothing business, you need a warehouse, you need, you know, employees, you need all of these things, right? And then I was like tricking myself and lying to myself because I thought that that was what was cool. I thought that that was what was right. That was what's necessary. But then the reality of it is that, especially in the clothing business, there's a ton of different ways for you to make money. You got print on demand, you got drop shipping, you got fulfillment centers, you can heat press it yourself, like you said. So the real thing that you need to do right now, in my personal opinion, um, that I did, I shouldn't say, I don't think that you need, have to, or must do anything, but these are my, you know, my takeaways uh, from my experience is that you step back real quick and deploy self-awareness. And you ask yourself, number one, how many people do I wanna deal with on a daily basis? Um, what skill sets do I have, right? And which business models support the lifestyle that I want to have as an entrepreneur. So if you're not that good with, let's say people, then doing what I did and getting a warehouse would not be the right advice for you. Yeah. And so my thing is this, is like, you want to build a business around your lifestyle and not build a lifestyle around your business. Because then what happens is you become sort of a slave to the business and then you resent the thing that you once loved. And I don't want that for you. So I got a warehouse because I thought it was the cool thing to do, had 30 employees and then realized, wow, I'm not the right person to be doing this shit. That's crazy. So yeah. then yeah. Un inevitably what happened was the business started to take a, you know, take a dive in the, in the wrong direction. But I had to deploy self-awareness like, okay, I'm not the person to do this job. Let me hire somebody else that can do it and put my ego to the side. Now, I don't want you to even have to get to that place. So what I'm telling you to do is, evaluate your skill sets say okay i'm good at x y and z what business models are, are available to me in clothing this one lines up with the skill sets that i have and now think about scale after that because let's just say you're like okay i am the type of person that can manage people yes that's cool but what about managing 
30 people if it comes to that. Is that what you want to be doing? So think about all of those things. But most importantly, iron out the skill sets that you have. Figure out which business model fits the skill sets that you have and the lifestyle you're projecting for yourself. And then go into that business model. So before you even think about design, heat press, this and that, iron those things out for yourself first. Okay. And um, when you talk about the dirty employees, how quickly did you get to that point? It was so fast bro it was like you know i didn't understand you know what i'm saying like i just started hiring people because i was like it's it's black friday we got fourteen thousand orders like what do i do and typically what people do is like when they have money to do so they start trying to fix they start trying to fix their problems with money when they actually needed proper experience and i didn't have the right experience to manage that people so i threw money at the issue and wasted all the money so it was very quick but that's why i'm telling you like think about these things before you gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And, and now uh, one more question. So um, being that you guys scaled so quickly, what would you tell yourself in the beginning part? Like when you first started, like of how you would start? Um, Literally, the, bro, no bullshit. The exact same thing I just told you. That was the issue. That was the issue that I had, bro. Okay, okay.